Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for July 9th to July, to July 15th, 2018. And before we start, <clears throat> I want to remind you that the monthly readings are already up at my channel and you can check your Moon, Sun and Ascendant sign in there and as well uh, you can obtain even deeper, uh, deeper understanding of the month by taking advantage of the in-depth tower reading that is focused on career and uh, relationship specifically for the month and that could that could be purchased purchased for just as little as one dollar at my website just look for the monthly extended readings there so that set aside let's go and see what happens with Gemini here now we have the six of cups as a general topic of their week then is the six of swords that will be uh, the core of the situation. Uh, afterwards we do have the Eight of Swords here as a uh, setback or rather the challenges they have to overcome and Ace of Cups marks the um, the guidance that Tarot has for them. So what happens during this week Gemini is nothing exponential, nothing bombastic if I may say it that way. It is just a, a small arrangement that is going to take place most likely into your family and uh, relationship environment. And why do you think so? It's because we do have double sixes here, that is from numerology. Anyway, what happens is that uh, based on a, a very well um, executed, should I say, enterprises that probably you and your partner or you and your person of interest has scheduled and then and then wait, they, they went very well. For example, it could be a date, it could be a dinner or just hanging out in the park. Then uh, you both may decide that it is... Um, it is a time for the um, uh, for a bigger step, you know, for one step moving on forward in that kind of communication relationships displayed by the core of the situation. Six of Swords that we do have, which speaks for a, a transition, transitions, transition that uh, improves one's circumstances, that improves one's standing either into one career or either into one relationship. Because if we're talking about career here, that speaks that you and your coworkers, some of your coworkers, you know, are going to kind of improve your condition of working in between one another that which is going to be a prerequisite that you together could start thinking of on executing probably a bigger project or that the work is going to go even smoother from now on uh, <clears throat> Then we're talking about a, a bigger cooperation, etc., etc. In general, uh, the social relationships and the communications are going to improve for you, Gemini's, that uh, into that week, and that will happen thanks to the uh, some sort of a circumstances which are going to breed to uh, to breed some um, how can I place it excitement into these communications. Now, very important here to be um, as well said with the challenges is that when you start Start improving those uh, those communications. You need to guys be a little bit more elab elaborative because when we talk about communications, an eight of swords takes place into challenging position. It means that you may be often misunderstood. All right, and uh, people may kind of tend to have a certain tunnel vision. All right, and even if you uh, kind of present your arguments very accurately, they may not want to hear those arguments. That's why you need to approach the matter from um, a different perspective, if you want to say it that way, to think outside of the box, to present the project or to present the plan for one relationship, present it in a way that it is outside of the box as well. And thus, uh, I think that you will be able to overcome the wall of stubbornness that may other people have been adopted uh, adopted so far. And I think that uh, you have a, a huge chance here during that particular week, Gemini's, to make peace with certain rivals or to be a peace dealer into a situation where two fighting forces are hitting one another or kind of like opposing one another and you are finding yourself in between the hammer and the anvil and examples for that could be uh, your partner and some of your parents if we're talking about relationship it could be two colleagues at work uh, which you are in uh, in a team with all right and you're working in the same project but because they are um, 
there are conflicts, uh, the project cannot go any further, etc, etc. It is just is going to be a week where the things are going to settle down regarding misunderstandings and disagreements and etc, etc. Now the guidance here with the Ace of Cups does uh, does speak that you need to catch the moment in a sense of that whenever uh, that particular circumstances uh, circumstances happens, uh, which uh, circumstances milders the tension in between uh, the fighting the opposing forces. This is exactly where you need to uh, aim. Uh, how can I explain it? To aim to kind of uh, make the ongoing problems in between those forces to take such a position that to become irrelevant for the goal moving on forward. So in other words, by taking on the moment means that you need to make a point there that the goal works so much more and it's no about a, a personal, uh, personal gains here, but it is about the gains of the collective. And I think that by that particular statement, people will really understand you and will combine with your forces. That being said, Geminis, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 9 to July 15, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.